What advice does Ice-T have for musicians who want to make controversial statements? Keep saying what you mean and don't back down. The 66-year-old rapper provided answers to questions submitted by fans to The Guardian ahead of the release of Body Count's forthcoming album Merciless. One person inquired about the band's protest song, Cop Killer, which was released in 1992, and asked if he felt the heat and regretted releasing it. The heat came when they started sending bomb threats to Warner Brothers. I threw the rock. That's my heat, Ice-T explained. I never really questioned myself, but it's nerve-wracking when other people could get hurt. But I have good news for you. Anyone who believes that controversy is a way to make money is mistaken. He went on to say, you get a lot of buzz, but now you need lawyers. Therefore, if you are going to say something, stand on it. Don't just say something foolish and then change your mind. The Combined Law Enforcement Associations of Texas, CLEAT, called for a boycott of Time Warner's products shortly after the song was released. Other police organizations across the nation followed suit. Dennis R. Martin, then president of the National Association of Chiefs of Police, claimed at the time that the song contributed to two officer shootings and inflamed racial tensions in cities across the country. At no point do I go out and say, let's do it. Ice-T stated in an interview with the Associated Press in support of the creation of the song. I'm singing as a character who is sick and tired of police brutality. I've never shot a police officer. Numerous times I felt like it. However, I never did it. After receiving death threats, Ice-T, whose real name is Tracy Morrow, made the announcement that he would remove the song from all subsequent copies of Body Count's self-titled debut. According to the Washington Post, Ice-T stated at a press conference in 1992 to announce the song's removal. When people go after the company, that's a real punk move. They are scared to pursue me. This is my battle, as well as Sister Soldiers and Ice Cubes. Before announcing the cop killer decision, Ice-T required reporters to watch a 40-minute civil rights documentary. He stated following the conclusion of the documentary, I don't understand why I'm supposed to like the police. They weren't liked by any of my leaders. Malcolm X and Martin Luther King Jr. have never been friends with black people. I have the utmost respect for those individuals who are doing the job correctly. I'd rather get rid of the brutal ones before they get rid of me.